This rare Roosevelt dime is among 100 greatest US modern coins. The popular 1968 10 cent with no S mint mark. The 1968 no S proof dime takes the third place among the 100 greatest US modern coins by Scott Schechter and Jeff Garrett, where the authors write, any error in manufacture of a proof coin is not worthy because of its considerable amount of special care that's taken in their production. Indeed, proof coinage errors are rare across the board. Interestingly, 1968 was the first year that these proofs were struck at the San Francisco Mint. A small number, perhaps two dozen pieces, were struck from a die that had not been properly punched with the S mint mark. The present example displays a band of golden orange color at the upper of verse, while the surfaces are otherwise brilliant. It was sold for $45,600 at heritage auctions. This is 1953S Franklin half dollar in Mint State 64 with full bell lines. The 1953S is among the most challenging Franklin half dollars to acquire with the full bell lines. The present coin displays sharp definitions throughout and softly frosted luster. While most examples of this issue are brilliant or tinged light golden, this coin displays deeper mottled amber orange toning. A loop fails to reveal bothersome abrasions. It was sold for $16,200 at heritage auctions. Here is 1912S Lincoln Cent in MS65 plus red condition. The 1912 is a challenging day to acquire in full red color, and it is particularly scarce at gem level. Finer red coins are rare. This CAC endorsed example stands apart from the majority of its peers with satiny blonde copper luster complementing well-struck design elements and a lack of series from the majority of its peers. Satiny blonde copper luster complements well-struck design elements and the lack of series abrasions. A few tiny pepper specks are seen in the right of verse field, it was sold for $9,000 in 2023 at heritage auctions. The 1919S Buffalo Nickel in MS65 condition, challenging San Francisco issue. Both sides of this virtually untoned 1919S, one of the great condition rarities in the series, offer outstanding luster and definition that's well above average for the issue. The gem population of this date has only marginally increased in the last decade, and the date remains scarce this fine, and is a major rare to finer. Sold on May 4th, 2023 for $9,000 at heritage auctions. This is 1928D Mercury Dime in MS66 plus condition with full bands. A rarity in this condition, the 1928D Mercury Dime is scarce in premium gem condition with full bands and it's notably rare any finer. This plus graded piece displays satin mint luster and light russet toning with no significant abrasions. Eye appeal is pleasing. This gem ended up selling for $7,200 on May 4th, 2023 at heritage auctions. And this is attractively toned 1966 Canada half dollar in MS67 plus condition. Sharply struck, neatly preserved specimen radiating vivid shades of olive green, burnt orange, and tan gold. The 1966 Kennedy half dollar is a coin that was minted in 90% silver and 10% copper. It features an image of President John F. Kennedy on the reverse side and seal of the President of the United States on the reverse side. MS67 Plus is a grading designation used by third party coin grading services such as PCGS and NGC. It indicates that the coin is in uncirculated condition with exceptional eye appeal and is nearly flawless with very minimal contact marks. This vividly toned gem was sold for $3,261.38 with buyer's fee at Great Collections Auction. Thanks for watching guys, if you liked the video don't hesitate to smash thumbs up and subscribe buttons. See you in the next episode.